Hello everyone, I'm Summer Bach. So during this mini series, you will get clear about how to look at your body's daily messages to assess your current state of health. What you measure, you can improve. So join me on the journey by doing this simple five day gut challenge so that you can measure, track and improve your own health. And as a bonus, I'll be sharing which symptoms and messages are a sign of gut imbalance. Gut health is my specialty. So it's the foundation of your health. Let's find out where you stand and then make a plan to make it better. You're equipped with an amazing feedback system to tell you how your body is functioning on the inside. And in the past three videos, I've taught you how to look at your face, eyes, skin, poop, and energy levels so that you can get a sense of what's going on in your blood and guts. Today, you're going to learn about your emotions and what this has to do with the gut. Depression, anxiety, and negative emotions in general can be a sign that your body is missing the nutrients and the right mix of beneficial probiotics. Did you know that the right bacteria actually produce substances that keep you healthy and balanced? Your moods actually can keep you sick and being sick can affect your moods. You're going to learn how to assess your daily moods and determine if you can do something about it naturally. It's a common medical statistic that 80% of chronic disease is caused by stress. 80%. And now that studies are starting to uncover the mechanisms behind the inhabitants of your gut and how they are affected by stress, that number is actually starting to make a ton of sense. Stress directly affects the bacteria that cause infections in your body. The bacteria in your gut actually respond very negatively to stress. There are many different kinds of stress, but today we're going to focus on emotional stress and your moods. Your bioterrain is the environment inside your body. And if your bioterrain is unhealthy from stress, not enough nutrients and toxins, you've actually created an environment where unhealthy bacteria and yeasts grow. They exacerbate your health concerns and then they make your moods more negative and then they reduce your immunity, which makes you prone to chronic and short-term illnesses. When your bioterrain is healthy and flourishing, you create an environment where probiotics grow and thrive. They help keep you strong, they keep you from getting sick, and they keep you in a positive and resilient mental state. Stress is a component of your gut health, your brain, your gut, your gut microbes. It's really an interesting cycle. When you experience stress, it makes it easier for bad bacteria to grow, which makes you feel worse which makes you feel stressed and then creates a loop that's really hard to break. This is a really interesting study. Actually, I'm going to share two different studies with you right now. To test how microorganisms reacted to stress, scientist Mark Light filled Petri plates with a bovine serum-based medium. He laced the dishes with a strain of bacterium, and in some, he dropped norepinephrine, this is a neurochemical that mammals produce when they're stressed. It's kind of like adrenaline. The next day, he snapped a Polaroid. The results were visible. They were obvious. The control plates with no norepinephrine were barren. And then those with the norepinephrine had bloomed with bacteria. The bacteria had clearly responded to stress. For several weeks, another team led by John Cryan, a neuroscientist who designed this study, fed a small group of healthy rodents, a broth infused with lactobacillus rhamnosus. It's a common bacterium that is found in humans and it's also used to ferment milk into probiotic yogurt. Lactobacilli are one of the dominant organisms that babies ingest as they pass through the birth canal. Recent studies have shown that mice stressed during pregnancy actually pass lowered levels of bacterium to their pups. This type of bacteria is known to release immense quantities of GABA, which is an inhibitory neurotransmitter. It helps calm the nervous system. Um, it also explains why most common anti-anxiety drugs like Valium and Xanax work by targeting GABA receptors. Cryan found that the mice that had been fed the bacteria-laden broth kept swimming longer and spent less time in an immobilized state of woe. 
They behaved as if they were on Prozac, he said. They were more chilled out and more relaxed. So the results suggested that the bacteria were altering the neural chemistry of the mice. What kinds of emotional stress are you under? Experiencing anxiety, depression, and even an assortment of negative emotions can be linked to having the wrong bacteria in the gut. And I'm curious, have you heard of the gut-brain axis? So the gut-brain axis refers to a signaling, a biochemical signaling pathway that takes place between the gastrointestinal tract and the nervous system. And it often involves intestinal microbiota, which have been shown to play an important role in healthy brain function. Bacteria produce neurotransmitters like GABA, serotonin, and dopamine to communicate with the nervous system using the gut-brain axis. GABA calms down the nervous system. Serotonin regulates moods by keeping you feeling happy. It also has a ton of other jobs. I mean, what's really fascinating about serotonin is that 90% of it is found in the gastrointestinal cells and it's used um, for peristalsis. So peristalsis is the regulation of the intestinal movement. It's like, it's all the food moving through the intestinal tract. Serotonin controls that. Dopamine is a neurotransmitter that regulates reward motivated behavior. So it's another one of those feel good chemicals. This, this stuff really fascinates me because these are the exact same neurotransmitters that our bodies produce to relay messages into the brain. I've always used this example. So neurotransmitters are like text messages. Our body is on Verizon and it texts messages all day long to ourselves. Throughout the nervous system, just text messages all day long. That's what these neurotransmitters are doing, telling our body what to do, what's going on everywhere. And then the bacteria, they're like, you know, basically on AT&T and they're text messaging all the time um, to each other as well. But they can also text to each other across carriers. Kind of cool. It's not surprising to me that these same neurotransmitters play a role in both intestinal disorders, which are correlated with depression, anxiety, autism, and hyperactivity. So people who suffer from those kinds of things are also suffering from intestinal disorders. There are certain bacteria in the gut that are specifically associated with these issues. And the great news is that probiotic bacteria can reduce anxiety and help to reverse some of this. And they do it with these neurotransmitters like GABA, serotonin, and dopamine. And it's theorized that probiotics could actually be used someday as psychiatric drugs. Bacteria secrete a profound number of chemicals besides these neurotransmitters. Lactic acid is one chemical, for example, that probiotics secrete is a natural antibiotic and it helps keep pathogenic bacterial populations from growing in the gut. Lactic acid is what makes sauerkraut and yogurt sour. Bad bacteria and yeasts secrete toxic chemicals that actually disrupt the nervous system and they make you feel crummy, confused, anxious, depressed, and tired. The liver gets loaded down trying to keep up with detoxifying these extra chemicals and clogs a major channel of elimination. So these main neurotransmitters like GABA and serotonin that are secreted by bacteria are the ones that help you de-stress. Feeling bad and being stressed go hand in hand. Negative emotions and stress are correlated. So when we talk about your emotions and your gut, we're actually talking about your moods. So like, let's just talk about emotions right now. So there's a simple list. I'm gonna read off some of the basic emotions. Anger, annoyance, contempt, disgust, irritation, anxiety, embarrassment, fear, helplessness, powerlessness, worry, doubt, envy, frustration, guilt, shame, boredom, despair, disappointment, hurt, sadness, shock, amusement, delight, elation, excitement, happiness, joy, pleasure, affection, empathy, friendliness, love, courage, hope, pride, satisfaction, trust, calmness, contentment, relaxation, relief, serenity, and surprise. My question for you, what kinds of emotional stress are you under? For today's challenge, using this list of emotions, I want you to write down the ones you feel the most when you're stressed. Now on a scale of zero to 10, zero being the most chilled out, like Buddha, and 10 being like the Incredible Hulk, I want you to rate your stress right now. For the next 
24 hours, I want you to keep rating your stress. Actually, Dr. Elizabeth Lombardo calls this the SUDS or subjective unit of distress. So zero to 10 being your subjective unit of distress. What is your SUDS rating? So every four hours for the next 48 hours, I want you to, to write down your SUDS rating. All right, stick around for tomorrow's video where I talk about your plan. I want you to be, where, be there with me as I help you make a blueprint for what you can do with all of this information. You've spent the past few days assessing your current state of health using some of the most effective and important signs that you can monitor yourself on a regular basis to witness shifts in your internal bioterrain. And I want to show you how you can make strides to get your bioterrain to be a healthy environment so that probiotics grow easily without huge effort on your part. Louis Pasteur said it best. I was wrong. It isn't the microbe. It is the terrain. So you can take probiotics, but if your gut is a barren wasteland, you're throwing apple seeds on sand all day long, hoping that they're going to grow into fruitful trees, but they're not going to grow until you nourish the soil and rebuild the right environment for them to thrive. This is Summerbach signing out. Mm -hmm.